Hi, Skyler here again from the Mint Change You Can Wear. Uh, what we're going to be looking at today is uh, Walking Liberty half dollar coin rings. So Walking Liberty started in 1916, I think the second half of the year, and they went through 1947. Um, most of the ones I use though are going to be from about 39 or 40 up to 47. Before that, um, they're just harder to come by in good shape. Uh, the Walking Liberties were really, really well spent coins, so they got worn out um, you know, over the years of use that they were used. Um, also, in the 30s and before, they were a little more, uh, a little more rare. There wasn't quite as many of them minted, I don't think. So, but anyway, besides that, um, any more detail on them? Really, there's um, a good write-up on my description of the Walking Liberty coin rings on my website. Um, change. All right, let's take a closer look. All right, here it is. This is the Walking Liberty half dollar. A little closer up. Um, you can see some of the, it's just a really busy ring. It's just uh, got a lot of detail all wrapped in it. Um, it's one of the most beautiful coins the U.S. has produced by most people's accounts. Um, when they first came out, though, there was a lot of people who didn't like it. I have came to discover that no matter what the United States Mint puts out, there's going to be most people don't like it at first. So, but um, no, other than that, it's just it's a really pretty ring. Um, the sun rays on the sun, the rising sun is just uh, is one of my favorite parts of it. And then you have obviously the date. This one's a 1945. It has the uh, In God We Trust on it also here. A little smaller than some of the other rings, but it's definitely still there. And um, you've got Lady Liberty and she's got the flag with the stars behind it, behind her there. And um, that's the outside of it. And the tail side of the coin you're going to have half dollar and United States of America there we got the top of the eagle's wings in the background and feathers and that's pretty much it like I said before this is the um, on the JFK uh, video I did I give it explanation on this is the outside of the coin and then this side of the ring is actually the um, the the middle of the coin so if you want to see a more detailed explanation of that check out my 64 Kennedy uh, video and this one's a size 10 they can be made in size 8 through 14 10's it's still kind of curved on the sides if you get to a size 11 it's more straight sided um, size 8, a little more curved yet. Here's a size 8. Tiny bit more curved. And then when you get up to a size 13, I don't have any um, size 13 Walking Liberties on order today, so I don't have any sitting on my desk, but I do have uh, the 65, 40% silver Kennedy. And this is a 13, it's a little thinner. So 13, 13 and a half, 14 are going to be a tiny bit thinner as far as band width. Um, so that's pretty much the skinny on that. Um, but like I said, just a really popular coin ring. It's the most popular one that I make. And uh, me personally, it's not my favorite, but um, maybe because I see it so much or something. But um, pretty much everybody picks these before anything else. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's the Walking Liberty coin ring. Thanks again for watching, and have a good day.